Hello friends. Our lesson today is about same and different. Sometimes things are exactly the same, sometimes they're a little bit different, and sometimes they're very different. So I wanted to show you some things that I have in my house that are the same. So I have these two coffee mugs. Are they the same? They are. You can drink milk or coffee out of them and they are exactly the same. I also have these coffee mugs in my house and these exactly the same. Now let me show you another one. This one, it's a coffee mug, but is it the same as this one? No, it's different. Sometimes things are the same and sometimes they're very different. So I wanted to talk to you a little bit about same and different today. So I'm going to show you a lesson that has same and different in it. So take a look at the things I have on my rug. So this is my little work mat and I'm going to show you some circles. And then I'm going to say which one of these is different. Take a look and see if you can tell which one of these is different. Were you thinking this one? You're right. They're all circles, but only one of them is different. There are three that are red and one that is not red. Even though this is a circle, it's not the same as the others. It's different. Now I'm going to show you some interesting playing cards I have. These are cards that you can actually play a card game with and take a look at them. They're all cards, but one of them is different. Can you tell which one is different? I know this is so easy for you. I know what you're thinking, Miss Lisa. This one is different. That's right. These are the same, but this one is different. Now I'm going to show you some clips. They are all clips. You use them to hold paper. But let me ask you a question. Are these clips all the same or is one of them different? You're right. Even though this one is a clip too, it's different. It's different than these. Good job. Another thing I wanted to talk to you about is that School is going to be a little bit different when you come back to school. Soon we'll be coming back. I can't wait. One thing that will be the same is you'll see my face. A lot of people will look exactly the same that you've known. Your teachers will be there and you'll come in and I'll remember you and you'll remember me. That part will be the same. But we might look a little bit different. In fact, we are going to look a little bit different because we're going to be wearing masks. I bet your mommy and daddy have talked to you about that, that it's a good idea for us to wear masks. We wear them because they protect other people. So I'm going to wear my mask to protect you. I want to make sure that you do not get any germs. I want to make sure that no one gets any germs. So everyone at our school is going to wear masks. It's going to be kind of cool. It's going to be a little bit different. It's going to be kind of cool. Now one thing you have to do before you even pick up your mask, make sure of this when you're at home and you get ready to put your mask on, that you must wash your hands. And hand washing is going to be very, very important right now. We're going to be doing a lot of hand washing and using hand sanitizer. We've got to keep our hands clean and we got to remember, let's not touch our mouth, our nose, or our eyes at all with our hands. It's a hard thing to remember, but we're going to have to work really hard on that. Don't touch your mouth, your nose, or your eyes at all. And we have to wash our hands really, really, really good before we even touch our mask. Okay? So, I'm going to go wash my hands and then I'm going to be ready to touch the mask and I'll be right back. Okay, hands are nice and clean. 
I said my ABCs and really washed them, washed my nails and washed really, really good and dried. And now I'm ready to, to pick up my mask. So this, I'll show you, there are many different kinds of masks. So I wanted to show you today that you might see someone with this mask or you might see someone with a different mask. I wanted to show you this one. A very good friend of mine made this for me and she even put my name on it, which makes me feel really special. And this mask has rubber elastic on the back and I would put this over my head. I'm not gonna do that right now. I'm just gonna show you what it'll look like when I wear it. Do you notice that I'm not touching the front of my mask when I put it on? That part's important too. And you can still see me, but I do look a little bit different. So that's one of my masks. This is a mask that I wear all the time when I go out. I make sure that I wear this mask. This is the one that I've been wearing. And then when I come home, I make sure I put it in the washing machine and wash it. That part's really important. Okay, so you can put your mask on like this. This might be this kind of a mask that you wear that has rubber bands that go around the back of your ears. That's one way of wearing a mask. And I wanted to ask you, when you look at me, can you tell if I'm smiling or not? Take a look. Am I smiling? How about now? Yes, you can tell. You can tell when I'm smiling by looking at my eyes. That's so cool. Let me ask you if you know what I'm doing now. Am I surprised? You can tell by looking at my eyes that I'm surprised. When you take off your mask, very careful. Don't touch, touch the front of your mask. And we'll have a special place for you to put your mask if you're taking it off to eat lunch. We'll show you about that. This is another kind of mask. This is a disposable mask. We throw this one away. We don't wash this one. So if we get a mask like this, we can wear it. Again, they go around the back of my ears and they cover my face and then I wash, uh, throw it away because it's a disposable mask. That one just goes in the trash. This is one that I made out of bandanas. It's a little bit different. It has to cover your nose and your mouth and then rubber bands are around my ears. So that's another mask that you might see people wearing. Maybe some people will be wearing it at our school, but you might see people out on the street wearing a mask like that. And I have one more mask that I wear sometimes. I make sure that I put it on correctly. And this is another one. And it goes around my ears, covers my nose, and covers my mouth. And now, if I have to cough or sneeze, nothing will get on anybody else. It's also really a good idea, don't forget, that you must cough or sneeze into your elbow. Remember that? We've been working on that a lot in primary. Once you take your mask off, you put it in your special place. We'll have a special place for your mask. And then it's going to be important that you go wash your hands right after you take your mask off. And then you got to make sure don't touch your nose, your mouth, or your eyes. And maybe we'll be eating lunch at that point, or there may be a reason you might need to blow your nose. We don't know why we're taking our mask off, but there may be a reason that we need to do that. And then you'll wash your hands again and you'll put your mask back on. So that's what we're doing at our, new, at our school when we get back. There's gonna be some new things happening. It'll be the same school that you remember, but some things will be a little bit different. But what will not be different is that we are super excited about seeing you and that part will be the same. We can't wait to get back to school so we can learn again and have fun together again and hang out together again. So that part will be awesome and that part will be the same. All right, friends, I can't wait to see you. It won't be long now.